Okay, I'm just going to attempt to film my laptop to show you how to uninstall a bit of software called Prey, which you get from PreyProject.com. Install it onto computers and mobile devices so that if your device is stolen, uh, it can be tracked. So basically, if someone were to steal your laptop or computer and go and plug it in and then connect to the internet, you can get traced and you can trace them to the exact address. Which So that's brilliant, but for some reason... Um, part of Prey, uh, an object called Node.exe, is driving me absolutely potty. Um, it's going absolutely crazy on my computer. It's been hogging the CPU for absolutely over an hour today, and I've been tr I've been needing to do some other work, and because of that, it's just ruined my evening. And this is about the third or fourth time it's done this in you know the last few months, and. I've contacted Prey before um, on their Twitter account to try and find out why, and I got no proper explanation from them as to why Node.exe would be so um, active. You can see, constant. I've got a constant. Look at the time changing. Node.exe is constantly active, even though I'm at home using my laptop on my own Wi-Fi network. So I've quite frankly had enough of Prey. So. I've typed in how to remove Prey software into Google, and this is the link I've ended up at. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to follow the, the instructions to get rid of it. I've just looked in, um, I'll just show you. I've gone to Control Panel, and then to Uninstall or Change a Program, and Prey does not show up in the list of programs I've got. As you can see, it's not there, and that's because um, they've deliberately made it so that it's hidden. So if, if a thief were to steal your laptop, they couldn't simply go and uninstall it really easily. Um, so to a thief, if they were to look through your programs, they would think, oh, okay, this person doesn't have prey, don't need to do anything, I'll just go and use it. So anyway, let's follow these instructions if we can. Right, okay. Right, so they say that there's an uninstall in C forward slash Windows forward slash Pro. Okay, how on earth do I get to there then? Let's move down this and see. Let's have a look. Okay, so what do they say? Well, they don't explain how to get there, so... Let's go to the start button on your computer. It's, it's hardly ever that you, you'd go to C window. So C computer. Double click on that. I'm just moving away from privacy. And, um, so when you've done that, you then end up with these options down the side. I'm just trying to think, where, it's, where do you get to Windows then? So let's click on my C drive. Open up that. Let's have a look through here. Yeah, okay, so go to C. And then you'll find a Windows folder. As in there. So double click on that yellow window. That yellow folder of Windows, double click on that. Alright, let me just expand that. You then end up here. So there you go. Let's have to get to C Windows. And you've got all these other folders. So move down there. They're listed alphabetically. So go and find P for Prey area. There we go. There's Prey. So double click on that. Right. Where's the uninstaller? I've got a text document as you can see. Hmm, okay, I'm going to go back to those instructions. See, look, look at how different it is. I don't have an uninstaller there. So they say, if the uninstaller.exe file is not available, 
It means Prey was installed using the MSI packages. What does MSI package mean? That's intended for corporate environments and to uninstall Prey you need to run the MSI installer again. Just grab the latest MSI package for Prey, run and then follow the instructions. Oh, that's bloody annoying that is. So I'm going to do that. So they've got a link you can click on that says to grab the latest MSI package for Prey. So I'm going to click on that. And that takes me to here, github.com. So, the latest version seems to be version 1.6.3, allegedly released 17 days ago. Today's the 19th of September, so does that mean, well hopefully that means it was 2nd of September. So, let's have a look, what are the options, oh bloody hell, look at all the different options you've got. Why can't we just make it simple? Look at that, that's ridiculous. What am I supposed to choose? I know I haven't got a Mac, so I know it's not going to be a Mac version. It's not going to be a Linux version, but why is there so many Windows versions? Oh, pray you haven't explained that well. So I'm going to use the back button on my browser. Let's go back and read those instructions again. Right. If the uninstaller.exe is not available, it means Prey was installed. And so I install Prey, you need to run the MSI installer again. Just grab the latest MSI package for Prey. So I need to get the one that says MSI at the end of it then. What a nightmare. So, it's not Linux. Linux is an operating system, just in case for people that don't know. Mac, it's obviously an Apple Macintosh computer. For people that don't know how to use computers, buy Macs. Because they're allegedly easier to use. Um, but they're very pricey for what they are. So it's a rip-off. So, Windows, here we go. Windows. And again, they, there's no explanations ever for anything. They just... All these companies seem to assume you work in IT and you understand everything. Nothing's ever explained for a normal computer user. But I know that X64 is for 32-bit computers. X64 is for 64-bit computers. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm not going to bother to explain any of that now, but for now I know I need to get the X64 MSI one there. Right, so I'm going to click on that. This is very annoying by Prey. To not have any exploits. So it started to download down there. 17.5 megabyte file. So that's a very small file. It's like the size of a PDF magazine or something like that really. It's not coming through that fast. I've got a really fast internet connection. So that's down to their server sending out slowly. I'm going to film every step of this just so that other people can understand what to do if they need to get rid of Prey because no .exe is driving them potty, which it does. And like I said, I found out that it was no .exe from Prey thanks to using a bit of software called Process Lasso, um, which I recommend everybody install on their computer and use. Right, we're almost there. But just look at all the different versions they offer you. And that's that's from the link on their on Prey's own website. That's a confusion. They've got all these links for Linux, Mac. You've got different versions for Windows, depending on whether you've got want the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version. And then they've got the ones that end in EXE or MSI. Again, there's there's just there's no explanation. I mean what the hell is Deb? Nightmare. Right, so that's done. Time's now 2.15 a.m. I'm going to get on with it. Normally, double-click on that, and that should start the install process. There we go. So, I'm going to click on Run. I'll 
Okay, welcome to Prey Anti Theft Setup. Let's click on next. End user agreement, which is probably take most people 24 hours to read. So I'm just going to click I accept that. Click on next. I'm not going to spend 10 hours or whatever reading that. Right. That's where it's going to be installed to. See Windows Prey. Click on next. It says check install to begin install don't forget I, I I started this process because I want to uninstall Prey and now it's getting me to install the new version <laughs> oh my god does that does that make any sense to people I'm only following their instructions so because I'm actually being forced to go through an install process what I might do I'll install this newer version and then I'll give it time, I'll give it a few weeks and see whether that improves um, the node.exe file from going bonkers. Let's see if the new version is works better. I do want to have something like Prey on my computer because obviously if someone nicks my laptop I won't be able to trace it so I can go around their house and teach them a lesson. Um, the kind of lesson that will, will require them to sample hospital food for a very long time. So anyway, I'll install Prey and I'll leave it on my computer a week or two. See whether that helps um, Node.exe to stop being a pain. And if it does, if it, if it improves, then obviously I'll keep Prey. If it doesn't work, I'll have to see if there's an alternative to Prey. The beauty of Prey is that when I got it, it was free. And it was kind of the first of its kind to do this um, monitoring of your laptop or and even on desktops you can put it. And apparently they now make Prey for mobile phones as well. So if someone nicks your phone you can trace where they are. So there we go. I've been filming for 12 and a half minutes already. So it's not going to be a quick couple of clicks and you've got rid of prey it's going to take a bit of time I am interested to see during this process whether there is an option to uninstall it because don't forget that's what I came here to do that's what the instructions I was following were claiming I'd be able to do they told me to come to this this github website to get this software in order to be able to uninstall it. So once it's installed, <laughs> let's see what happens. Right. So it says click the finish button to exit the setup. So I've clicked finish. For now, obviously, I don't need that page anymore. So I'm going to go back and read the instructions again. Okay. So at the point where they explain if the uninstaller is not available, which is my case. It means Prey was installed using the MSI. That, that's uh, to uninstall Prey, you need to run the MSI installer again. Grab the latest MSI package for Prey, run, and then follow the instructions. Well, I've just followed the instructions and got as far as I have. So where's the uninstall part of it? Ah, I know. So maybe that now means if I now go to C... Uh, forward slash windows I'll now be able to find an uninstaller so let's try that okay let's have a look, let's have a look. so well that's the window that was open from before and that has not changed so for now I'm going to close that window and I'll go back and do it again just just to see if that's possible so start computer double click computer double click your c drive go down and find the windows folder yellow windows folder where is it so yeah obviously right near the bottom window so i'm going to double click on that again move down through the whole list of all the windows folders find prey aha you see now 
in the date modified column it's showing 19th of September is being modified so hmm. well although they know I've modified stuff look there's no uninstaller so I'm going to click on current see what's in there no there's the thing driving me nuts okay there's no uninstaller in that so I'm going to use the back button up there Let's click on versions. That's weird. I don't know why I've got those versions. Does Prey update um, without warning the user it's going to do that? I wonder if that's what's been going on. No. Because on the 19th at the, that time, that's when I've just, I've just installed that myself. I wonder, I do wonder whether whether it's been um, updating and that's what's been causing Node to go bonkers in the background. But then again, it shouldn't take half an hour to download a 20 megabyte file. And I've been having the problem um, about an hour or so before the, the step you've just shown me installing it. So, oh. Who knows what's going on? It's out of confusion. Pray we've got some serious work to do. So there you go. I still don't have an uninstaller. So. Hmm, what can I do now? All right, so I'm going to go. Let's close that. I'll close that window. All right, I'm going to go start. Control panel. Double click on that. Um, go to programs, uninstall a program. This is a Windows 7 computer in case you're, you, you know, you try and follow the steps and they're different in Windows 8 or Windows 10 or something like that. So look at your list of programs. They're listed alphabetically, so try, go down to the P area. Brand of my laptop is Packard Bell, so I've got a whole load of Packard Bell things. There's Process Lasso, so Prey should be before Process Lasso, and it's not. So again, Prey is not listed uh, in Uninstall Programs area of Windows. So the instructions on Prey's own website don't work. <laughs> That's just unbelievable. So they've got a step there that says, this still doesn't work. Yes, this still doesn't work, pray, you morons. Um, something could have gone terribly wrong. For some reason, you could still be... What? That doesn't make a lot of sense, the way they've written it. Maybe it's just not written by an English person or something. Something could have gone terribly wrong. For some reason, you could still be... Unable to uninstall Prey using the previous methods. If that's the case, please follow these steps. Hit the Windows plus R keys on the device at the same time. Oh, here we go. Right, so. Windows. The Windows key. Oh, I've never used that, but that's that one there. Please put the camcorder down. I need both hands. So Windows and R at the same time. Right, that pops that little thing up there. On that little prompt, type services.msc. Okay. Services.msc. And hit enter. Then it says look for cron service. And right click on it to check its properties. Cron. Never heard of that. Okay, so let's open up a window that says services there. Look for cron. So, just need to, let's move this down. Ooh, blimey, that moves quickly. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Right, so there's cron service. Oh. And that blocks the instructions, so I need to minimise that quickly. 
Look for cron services and right click on it to check its properties. instructions again oh I really hate it when they design windows to pop up that then get in the way of instructions it's bloody annoying why can't they think of that when they lay out instructions like why can't they deliberately write them on the side out of the way of where the things are why so so step three look for cron services and right click it to check its properties Disable it from running on startup and apply changes. Ugh. Now that I've minimised that, that thing's disappeared. So, go to properties. Startup type. So, I guess I have to select disabled. That disables it from starting up. Apply that, click on OK, right, disable it from running on startup, apply changes, oh. now I've got to reboot the system, so after I reboot it I then manually delete the Prey folder that's on C Windows Prey. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is ridiculous. And then I've got to do all those other steps there. And the problem is when you when you reboot the computer, you're obviously going to use your browser. Um, so you're going to lose that pace. I'm just going to quickly bookmark that so I know how to get back to those instructions. What a pain. So bookmark it in a folder you know you're going to be able to find. Um, Let's see if I've got like a software folder or something in my browser. Actually, I might as well just make a new folder. I'll make a new folder called Prey. Nineteen September twenty sixteen. Save that. All right, so I've bookmarked that. Now I've got to restart computer click on start click on restart ah, how much can you hate to pray software some kind of little some kind of little error message just popped up then Oh, that was about something else I've just done installing wise memory optimize I've just uninstalled that but right okay so I'll stop this video because I've been recording for 24 minutes there's no point in me showing you how long it's going to take to reboot the laptop and all that I'll make a second video showing you the final steps to do to uninstall Prey software so this is the end of part one of how to uninstall Prey software and I'll make a part two uh, it's now half past two in the morning and I'm really pissed off with Prey. Thanks for watching for now. Bye-bye.